There is an olalo no eo, a Hawaiian proverb, and it goes, Kui kale mokua kanaloa. And what that means simply in English is that the islands are strung together like a lei by the ocean. And even deeper than that, in a Hawaiian context, it means that the islands are strung together like a lei by Kanaloa, the ocean deity, our Hawaiian god. But if you look further into the meanings, that kauna, that deeper meaning, it means that humanity is united by the ocean. Humanity is united by the ocean. In the North Pacific, there's a system of ocean currents and oceanographic factors that are in play and are a big part of the reason why the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands have such a big problem with marine debris. Anything that's dropped in the ocean around the Pacific Rim ends up getting swirled around by this North Pacific gyre. And the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands lie in the very center of this North Pacific gyre. The Northwestern Hawaiian Islands act then as a big comb and filter out all of that floating marine debris. There's about 1,400 Hawaiian monk seals left in the world, 1,100 of which live in the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. Our job is to ensure that these animals have a chance at success. So cleaning up their habitat and cleaning up where they live is uh, our number one priority. Every year, 52 metric tons of derelict fishing gear accumulates in the Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. And that doesn't even include any of the ocean plastics that end up washing up on the shorelines of these islands and atolls. When I see the images of the ingested plastic in seabirds, when I see the entanglements of marine wildlife, I didn't necessarily put those things in the water, but I am part of this system that sourced those things. So trying to figure out what in my reach, what in my immediate reach can I do that's what I have control over. Whether you live by the shorelines or you live up in the hills or you live up in the mountains, our debris is making its way into the oceans. And so whether that's changing your lifestyle at home and reducing the amount of single use plastics that you utilize or you know, reusing some of the plastics that you may already have purchased and already have in your homes, I think everybody can make a difference by making a small change. Nice. <laughs> now get to work. <laughs> the work being done in Papahanaumokuakea is really, really important, and I'm very proud of our marine debris team. The work that they do is, it's an extension of the work that we're trying to achieve as well within the monument. I think there's a lot of hope for this project because people do care about the environment and people do care about how we can make a change.
Humanity is united by the ocean. Humanity is united by the ocean.